Good Tuesday morning here at 514. I've got mainly 70s, uh, a couple of spots in the 80s right along the coast, and no different than it was yesterday. You know, we hit 95 degrees yesterday afternoon out at the airport in Tampa, and the, and the main reason was that very strong east wind that we had for you, and it didn't allow that west coast sea breeze to get anywhere and do anything. It was pinned back. We're going back in the low to mid 90s again today. Here is our potential tropical cyclone. No, it is not a named storm yet. Um, it's uh, running into a bit of an issue this morning, which is just fine by me, but this was an expected issue, and that is some wind shear going on. Over here in the Yucatan, you see this little counterclockwise spin? You see it? Watch. You can almost at the beginning, you see how those clouds are spinning counterclockwise? That's an upper level low. Okay, and what this upper level low is doing is it's shearing all this convection away from where the center is trying to form. And the center is saying, no, 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 I want to form here. Eventually, this upper level low moves out, and that will allow for the consolidation of all this convection. And then once it does, watch out, because then it's probably going to rapidly intensify. Overnight computer models didn't move much, except they're all painting a landfall in the state of Florida. And it's going to be sometime late, late on Thursday. Okay, so that's the overall theme. That has not changed. Mainly the Big Bend area is what we are anticipating now. However, a jog 50 miles east or west will be a monumental difference in what we experience here in the Tampa Bay area. 35 mile per hour winds. Here's the official forecast track. Doesn't, hasn't changed much from last night. The couple of things that have changed this morning is now we are under a hurricane watch really from Englewood northward. We're also under a storm surge watch as well, really all the way up the coast. This is going to be a very large storm in size, okay? And because of that, and it's forward speed, and it's going to be pushing a lot of water in, we have a very high storm surge potential with this particular storm. From Chasowitzka north, you could be looking at a 10 to 15 foot storm surge. Yes, 10 to 15 foot possibility, okay? Once you're getting from Anclote to Englewood, including Tampa Bay, a five to eight foot storm surge right now that would obviously inundate many areas right along the coast if that comes to pass, okay? So this is what we're anticipating right now. There's your watches. Again, just watches are up. Nothing is going to happen today. Nothing is going to happen tonight and for most of tomorrow as well. So we got plenty of time to watch, plenty of time to fine tune, but I would expect by Wednesday night, see these heavier rain bands moving in, that's when the weather's gonna start to go downhill with the worst weather being on Thursday. This is really a Thursday event for us. Okay, and the only thing that we have different for you this morning is now we have hurricane watches. Now we have storm surge watches. It still looks like it based on the forecast. It stays just off to our west, but a jog 50 miles of the east could make a huge difference. So this is a storm when they parallel the coast. You got to watch it minute by minute. 94 degrees today. Not much going on. Pretty quiet. Just hot. Clear tonight. Tomorrow will cloud it up, but the showers will hold off till late, late in the day. Wind won't be an issue tomorrow as well. It's really Wednesday night and Thursday. That's when it all comes through. It's out of here late on Thursday and there's going to be a lot of deep tropical moisture left behind. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll just have some regular tropical showers around. But again, the impact's going to be mainly on Thursday.